Moon River is an Ethereum compatible smart contract power chain on Kusama. My name is Rico Richardson and in this video I'm going to tell you all about it. In June 2021, Moon River first launched as a parachain on the Kusama network. Moon River is a sister network of Moonbeam and provides an environment to test new code under real economic conditions. Developers now have access to start experimenting and building on an incentivized canary network connected to Kusama. New code will ship to Moon River first, where it can be tested and verified under real economic conditions. Once proven, the same code will ship to Moonbeam on Polkadot. So what is Moonbeam? Moonbeam is a developer-oriented blockchain that strives to provide compatibility with the existing Ethereum developer toolchain and network. It does this by providing a full EVM implementation, a Web3 compatible API, and bridges that connect Moonbeam to existing Ethereum networks. This allows developers to deploy existing Solidity smart contracts and dApp front ends to Moonbeam with minimal changes. Moonbeam will also be a parachain on the Polkadot network. That means it will get shared security from the Polkadot relay chain and will be able to integrate with other chains that are connected to Polkadot. Leave a comment if you want me to do a full video on Moonbeam alone, but for now, let's go back to Moon River. So what are smart contracts anyway? The basic principle behind the Moon River network is to function as a smart contract platform that provides a one-stop hub to its users for redeploying Ethereum dApps without the need of configuring them into the Karura network. Smart contracts are simply programs stored on a blockchain that run when predetermined conditions are met. They typically are used to automate the execution of an agreement so that all participants can be immediately certain of the outcome without any intermediary involvement or time loss. They can also automate a workflow triggering the next action when conditions are met. Smart contracts work by following simple if, when and then statements that are written into code on a blockchain. A network of computers execute the actions when predetermined conditions have been met and verified. These actions could include releasing funds to the appropriate parties, registering a vehicle, sending notifications or issuing a ticket. The blockchain is then updated when the transaction is completed. That means that the transaction cannot be changed and only parties who have been granted permission can see the results. The creators of Moon River are the same people behind Moonbeam. The vision of both is equal. They want to create a platform that supports multiple chains so they can facilitate a large number of assets and users. They have created an EVM smart contract platform to achieve this and which can support dApps which stands for decentralized applications. Moonriver also has its own utility token called Moonriver which uses MOVR as a ticker. Supply and other token economic behaviors on Moonriver will be the same as Moonbeam but token distribution will be different in order to support the unique goals and attributes of the network. Moon River will serve as a canary net for Moonbeam, but it will also be a community-led experiment where the community will decide the direction it takes. As a decentralized smart contract platform, Moon River requires the mover tokens to function. Some of the functions of the mover token are the support of gas metering of the execution of smart contracts, Incentivizing collaterals, empowering the mechanics uh, around the creation of a decentralized node infrastructure on which the platform can run, facilitating on-chain governance mechanism, including proposing referenda, electing council members, voting, and so on. And of course, like many other tokens, Mover can be used for paying transaction fees on the network. With the launch of the Moon River network, the total supply of Mover is 10 million. A part of it has been reserved to ensure the network secures and maintains a parachain slot on the Kusama network. 30% of the network was distributed as part of the initial crowd loan. The remaining balance will be distributed over the teams building on Moon River and held by the Moonbeam Foundation to support long-term protocol and network development. Notably, there is no founder's reward and a pure stake team developing Moon River will not own any of the tokens at Network Genesis. So let's do a quick rundown on the allocation details. The parachain crowd loan was good for 3 million tokens, which equals 3%. Community initiatives and parachain slot reserve takes up 4 million, which equals 40%. Parachain bond reserve takes up another 50,000%, so 0.5%, and the same amount goes to treasury. 
Long-term network stewardship and adoption gets 2,450,000, so 24 percent And finally, the developer adoption program takes up 450,000, which equals to 4.5%. Transparency is an important factor for them, so they've dedicated an entire page on this. The web page contains all the used token addresses and has an overview of the estimated token release schedule. Moonriver targets a 5% annual inflation rate and as such has an uncapped token supply. The purpose of inflation in Moon River is to pay for ongoing security needs of the network. The primary security budget items are to pay for a parachain slot on an ongoing basis and to incentivize collectors to provide collation services to support the Moon River network. Of the 5% inflation, 1% will go towards incentivizing collectors and 1.5% will go to the parachain bond reserve to accumulate on-chain funds to pay for a parachain slot in perpetuity. The remaining 2.5% will go to users that stake their MOVER tokens and help power the collateral selection process. Fees on Moon River related to transactions and smart contract execution will be handled in two ways. 80% of the spent fees will be burned, which acts as a deflationary force and accrues value to existing MOVER holders based on increasing utilization of the network and 20% of the fees spent will go to an on-chain treasury which can be allocated via on-chain governance to projects and initiatives which further adoption and engagement with the network. Now we're at my most favorite part about a token or a coin, being able to stake it. A minimum of five mover tokens can be staked on the network. The reward payout time is set to two rounds with each round containing a total of 300 blocks that takes approximately one hour to complete. You can also stake your tokens on a decentralized exchange on the Moon River network like Solarbeam. Solarbeam is a decentralized exchange providing liquidity and enabling peer-to-peer -peer transactions on the Moon River network. They want to provide a comprehensive and convenient one-stop platform for the crypto community. Solarbeam allows users to trade directly from their wallets rather than trading through a third party, which means that tokens never leave your custody, meaning it is 100% owned by you. Lower trading fees make Solarbeam an attractive platform to trade with. There are other decentralized exchanges on Moon River too. These are the MoonSwap and Free River exchanges. Both of them have been built on the Moon River network and offer the same possibilities other decentralized exchanges offer. I can make a whole video dedicated on just that, but for now I'm just going to leave it at this. Back to staking. So, you can stake it in pairs to provide liquidity and have a higher return rate, but this also brings the risk of getting impermanent loss. If you want to learn more about impermanent loss, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment saying that you'd like me to do a video on it, and I just might. Now, you can also stake Mover like you can with Cake. The APY is a lot lower, but still a good 135% at the time of this recording. And this will be paid out in Solar, which is currently valued a little above $19. For the record though, I'm not a registered financial advisor, nor is this video meant as financial advice. I'm only trying to educate you on this project in an entertaining way. Always do your own research and never invest money you cannot afford to miss because there is nothing as volatile as crypto. Personally, I'm a big fan of tokens that I can stake because it helps me get passive income. Examples of tokens that I personally own and stake are Cardano, Solana and Cake. Now, for transparency purposes, I want you all to know that I hold some over as well. The reason for that is because I can stake it for a high APY. And I'm very impressed by everything they've achieved so far. If this video made you enthusiastic about the project, you can head over to CoinMarketCap to find out where you can purchase this token. You can buy it on several exchanges with Kraken and Qcoin being the biggest. Now what I'm about to tell you is highly speculative, but the rumor from the Moon River community is that they might get listed on Binance because Moon River is actually one of the few projects that has been funded by Binance and Coinbase together. You can also find this rumor in the in-depth report of CoinMarketCap, which I'll link in the description down below. A new topic in my videos is called In The News. If you look at Moon River, there have been several news articles. Five days ago, CryptoSlate released an article saying that the Kusama parachain Moon River exceeded its expectations with 1.75 million transactions. Another article by Cointelegraph is dated September 2nd and says that Cream Finance will integrate with Polkadot blockchain using Moonbeam. On the official Twitter of Moonbeam, they have announced the finalization of the Moonbeam Take Flight community event raising $24.5 million. The event was a way for the Moonbeam community to obtain Glimmer tokens in anticipation of the Moonbeam network launch. The Moonbeam Foundation had initially allocated 80 million GLMR tokens for the event which is 8% of the initial supply. 
In light of the overwhelming support and demand from the community, this was increased by 20 million tokens to a total of 100 million tokens. The non-guaranteed rounds were sold out within two hours of opening. This shows to me that there is adoption and progress taking place, which to me is always a good thing when it comes to crypto projects. And that's it for this video. Once again, I'm not a financial registered advisor. Do your own research. Never invest money you cannot afford to lose. My name is Rico Richardson. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Doei!